it's my pleasure to be here tonight representing my one automotive group. As uh, Susie said, we've been partners with uh, American Cancer Society for 13 plus years. As a large automotive group with 64 dealerships, Mile One sponsors and participates in many local charitable events, but by far the American Cancer Society is absolutely the chosen charity. They are the chosen ones for our company. This decision goes back a long time and really goes back to my father, Jerry Fader. Jerry was passionate about this cause from the very beginning. Over the years, he has successfully spread his passion for this cause throughout Mile One and made our entire company share in his zest and his enthusiasm for partnering with the American Cancer Society to raise funds to be used for research and promoting treatments and finding a cure for the various cancers. Jerry and I attended many events together over the years, and every year I stood in front of the stage along with all of you and listened as my father spoke so passionately about two things. One, his dedication to fighting this dreaded disease and two, his pride in the Mile One organization. As every year we seem to turn out a few more volunteers, a few more walkers, more sponsors, and somehow, somehow every year manage to raise a few more dollars in the fight against cancer. In October of 2011, approximately 18 months ago, I again watched my dad deliver his enthusiastic rallying speech, and I wondered what was really going on inside of his head. At the time, my dad was fighting his own private battle with cancer. Few others knew of his real struggles or how fatal his very rare form of cancer, angiosarcoma, really was. My dad never let anyone know of his own private struggles. I was actually with him on a dreadful day when a doctor delivered the bad news to my father, but I can say from the very first day on, he absolutely believed he would beat the odds and he would be one of the survivors. I guess that's why he lived four and a half years fighting a disease with a prognosis unknown to him that was 12 months on the outside. So I watched my dad deliver his speech that day, approximately 18 months ago, he never missed a beat. My dad passed away a very short five weeks later on November 19, 2011. Today, Jerry's passion and enthusiasm for this cause and for the American Cancer Society and for Susie and for Gloria, who couldn't be here today, can be seen here as Mile One has once again raised big dollars for his favorite cause. Jerry, unfortunately, didn't live long enough to see his company, Mile One, win the Cup of Hope Award the last two years. A shame because he would have been very proud of his company, just as I am so proud today to stand up here and carry on Jerry's legacy. I want to thank everyone here today from Mile One for working so, so hard throughout the year and to continue our support of the American Cancer Society and certainly to continue to, uh, to promote Jerry's favorite cause. I'd also like to thank all of the other sponsors, fundraisers, volunteers for the incredible work that all of you do. It's not an easy task to rally your employees or rally your troops around a cause, any cause, but just look here tonight and it's evident that we've done a very good job. So thank you to everyone here. Thank you especially to Susie and to the American Cancer Society for being our partner over the last 13 years.